Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to use the perspective tool. This tool shares common options with many of the transform tools. Click the card in the upper right hand corner to learn more. This tool is great for correcting and creating perspectives in your project. Let's look at some ways we can use this tool. First up, we're going to use this tool to add content to TV screens. In this project, I have two layers. One layer with the image I want to be the screen, and the other image of the TVs. After making the top screen content layer active, and selecting it with the perspective tool, I will turn down the opacity a bit so I can see where to align the points. Then I will drag each four corners to their correct place on one of the TV screens. The image will shrink and conform to the perspective and size you create. Once we are happy with the results, we can press enter on our keyboard. Now we have transformed our screen image to fit perfectly on the television. Another use is correcting the perspective of an object. This picture of a museum has art pieces skewed so you can't see them head on. We can use this tool to create a new perspective so we can see the whole piece clearly. First, I will cut out the portion I want to edit and then isolate it on its own layer. Then I will use the perspective tool to correct the perspective. This can be a little tricky at first since the transform cage won't align flush with the edges of the painting. Now we can see more of this piece after we've corrected the perspective. And that's it. You now know how to use the perspective tool in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.